Hi folks. You know, to the best of my recollection, I cannot re remember consciously deciding to destroy someone. It is a big decision to decide to destroy someone. Thing is, any idiot can destroy. Destruction requires neither genius nor imagination. Rather, it is antipodal in motive and result. A team of genius engineers can take years building and designing a very advanced automobile, and an idiot with a cup of sugar and a hammer can destroy it in seconds. The choice to destroy is indicative itself of arrogance, for it lays claim to the right to abolish something belonging to another. When the very thing you seek to destroy is someone else, then the level of arrogance displayed now borders on criminal sociopathic behavior. Sure, I have been angry and, and have lashed out without thought. I usually ended up regretting those short-lived, impatient, and immature reactions and have sought to grow past that response. I have responded instinctively when attacked and during those moments of heated battle have sought to disable, harm if necessary, and destroy if required for my own survival. But in those instances, the decision to engage was rarely mine. I engage in actions and I use my words, and I fully realize that in seeking to create change, enemies will be made, and there will be a component of harm to some. Those who, in, who seek to increase their wealth or power by manipulating either the political or judicial systems might be able to lay claim that the actions of myself and other activists are detrimental and harmful to their agendas and goals. But distinguishing between their apparent and agenda and themselves as human beings, I can honestly say that I've never sought to, to harm them directly and personally, certainly never sought to destroy anyone. I have found the path of revenge to be a cold, rocky one ending in a cliff. I have found the benefit of forgiveness when dealing with those who I thought had trespassed against me. I have never operated with intent to destroy someone. Any harm I cause is never intended as a primary objective and is usually a result of acting with too much enthusiasm and too little due regard to the potential consequences of harm to others. I think deciding to destroy someone is to a large degree evidence of some form of mental illness. It is the epitome of arrogance. So when speaking of someone who, who decides to destroy another human being, it is a very alien mindset to most, in order, and the motivation behind it will likely be very difficult for a sane human being to understand. Even if someone is acting out of anger, they could be deemed to be temporarily insane. Even the term mad reflects the idea that those who destroy, who engage in destruction and anger, uh, is made without proper reasoning process, and it may be a form of temporary insanity. So why would anyone decide to destroy someone else? What would constitute a good reason? To me, the only thing that presents itself as lawful is if it needs to be done to save someone else due to the unlawful actions of another. Self-defense or defense of another to avoid your own destruction and only as much force as is needed. I believe that's the only reason that really makes any sense. To decide to destroy someone for an imagined slight or an insult or for failure to display, to display an expected level of deference and respect is further evidence of some serious psychological problems. It speaks of a deeply arrogant narcissism and delusions of grandeur and it reflects a complete lack of conscience. I want to share with you some words put out by this guy who has been uh, stalking me, harassing me, and defaming me, uh, and against whom I'm seeking to bring legal action. And he's been engaging in these actions for about three years now. Read what he posted today. It was the fact that his initial refusal to answer a couple of questions and his dismissive, arrogant attitude is what made me decide to destroy him. It was just a spur-of-the-moment decision. On another day, I might have just ignored him. And the guy claims that I'm arrogant, yet he is the one who is deciding to destroy another human being. He made this decision on the spur of a moment, and he did so because he was upset that he didn't get his questions answered in a timely enough fashion. 
Not only does he continue to display arrogance with his words, he seems to be suffering from delusions of my failure due to his own grandeur. He's gloating about some non-existent effect he thinks he has achieved through his efforts to destroy. He says, glad I took the route I did, now I see him floundering around like a beached whale. That's the delusion. The only thing that Menard ever said that was true, for him that is, was that we can't escape karma. I believe that's still true, and it's true for everyone. Enjoy the rest of your beer-soaked life, bong the boy. So now who's being the one that's acting arrogant and le arrogantly and dismiss dismissively? And all of this, three years of, of this criminal harassment, because I didn't answer questions for him, and his goal, his intent, was never to try to help other people. It wasn't because he felt the free man message was harmful to people and he wanted to try to block it. No, it was because his ego didn't like the fact that he didn't get his questions answered timely enough, so he decided to go out and destroy. If this man, whoever he is, whether or not he's a 12-year-old boy, uh, or whether or not he might be used to being respected and deferred to, maybe he's a Bobby in the UK, who knows, but he clearly demonstrates some serious sociopathic tendencies. To choose to destroy someone else you've never met for no other reason than your questions did not get answered on an internet forum, to spend three years going nuts, uh, essentially stalking your target all over the net, sending out emails and reeling his family and his friends, and uh, essentially just attempting, seeking to destroy a man because of that reason, and to make the decision just so blithely, to just, on the spur of the moment, I decided to destroy this fellow human being. Well, I've never met him, but he didn't answer my questions on an internet forum. How is that not insane? And you know, on the Randy Forum, they won't raise a peep about this. They won't point out the fact that his actions are clearly the actions of, of a criminal. Well, I think he's engaging in criminal actions, but he's seriously insane. The guy's got some serious psychological issues. If to him it's justifiable to seek to destroy someone because they didn't answer your questions on an internet forum, and then to spend three years doing this, engaging in tortuous actions in order to achieve your goal. That is some fucked up shit right there. It's the arrogance of destruction. The moment you choose that you have the right to destroy something which isn't yours, that's arrogant. The moment you start thinking you have a right to destroy another human being, that's incredibly arrogant. And the moment you decide that you have the right to destroy another human being because he didn't answer your questions, well, that's, that's sociopathic. That, that's a level of narcissism and sociopathy that is off the scale. And whoever he is, he should not be employed by the public. That's for damn sure.